I promised to show you something very special from the iFest 2010 uh, from Bourbonnais, Illinois. And this is it. A chap called Lenny Corliss explained what it meant when we say that we as Christians are knit together. It was so good, I thought, Neil, you couldn't explain it any better yourself. So. Here is what Lenny told us, and I really, really, really encourage you to look at it because it's just about one of the best things I've ever seen. Bye. Being knit together is uh, it's not only a spiritual term, but a very practical way. It is about our lives being interconnected with each other. You know, much like a puzzle. And then as the pieces are connected together, the picture gets more clear, it supports each other, becomes stronger. And that ideally, as a body of believers, in our local churches, in our families, and here when we come together in a gathering like this, we would be interconnected. And the reality is that in many cases, we're sort of like a bunch of separate little smiley faces. <laughs> sort of because we're supposed to. Right? The idea is, like, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm blessed. If it, if it got any better, I wouldn't know what to do. But it's not always really what the heart experiences. In many cases, we feel sort of like perhaps maybe, you know, one individual in a crowd and, and sort of disconnected. And even though we all see each other, we all have similarities about what we're about in ministry-wise or puppeteering or, or creative arts and that. We can feel sort of like we're standing alone a little bit. Now the reality is that when you and I have a powerful relationship with the Lord, we have little seasons of time where we don't really need anyone else but Him. It's almost like there are times we feel so close with God, it's like we're up on His shoulders. And the world's ahead of us and there isn't a care in the world because our Heavenly Father has us just safe in the right place. But there are other times where we don't experience like we are feeling really close to Him. And it's more like the weight of the world is on our shoulders. Can you relate to that at all? Can anyone connect to what that means? And because of that, God's design is that we would be knit together to be a, a, a force to help each other. And by the way, it takes time for that to happen. It takes time for you, for you and I to be able to be knit together the way that, that we want to be. And so I'd like you just to look at that phrase, knit together, and, and then to notice that if you take the letters to that phrase and you rearrange them, it says something else. And it's very simple. It's, it's almost going to seem oversimple, but I want to ask you to please think about it for a minute. Think to greet. Think first, meaning like it has to be a mindset, it has to be your and my mind and understanding that God wants to use you to make a difference in the lives of the people around you. And it's not only when we are in a performance mode. It's not only when we have opportunity to stand before a group of persons. In fact, most of the real, powerful, heart-to-heart -heart life ministry takes place as you and I, as individuals, Think and understand that God is putting you something to share with the people around you. And I, and I you know, when you think about the word greet, uh, in, in today's, uh, like, I think Alan Root kind of did it kind of fun, right? You know, it's like, how you doing? You know, or, what's up? Or, or, you know, or the nod. But if you take the real meaning of the word greet, and I put that definition up there for you, it's deeper than just acknowledging each other. But it's actually expressing an encouragement and a blessing to each other. When the Bible says greet one another, it wasn't meaning just make sure to say hi. It was meaning that we would interact. And so what I'd ask you just, just to consider very simply as, as we wrap this up, this idea of thinking to greet. The truth is that this Christian walk is, a, is an uphill climb. Anyone can relate to that? Right? It's, not, it's not always easy. It's not always fun. It's not always just going smoothly. And there's times that we sort of need to be lifted. Now what we'd like to do is what this guy did, right? 
<laughs> because if you remember, he was having a lot of problems. He didn't like being bothered with trouble, right? So what did he do? He just got all those balloons. Anyone see the movie? You know what I'm talking about? And he just sort of lifted him up out of the circumstance. But in reality, for you and I, we don't have that kind of a possibility. But what we do have is each other. And I would just encourage you, as we think about this week being knit together, there's so many truths connected to it. The very basic, simple one I'm sharing with you, very practical. Think to greet. Think to say hi to a person. Think to acknowledge the persons around us. Sometimes we're busy. We have an agenda. And there are times where perhaps someone has to get from one place to another place, and it's like a very little bit of time, and maybe just needs to go. But what I'm referring to is in our day-to-day -day moving about that we take time to interact with each other. Because as we do, if you put ourselves into it with the people around us, we're going to be able to be knit together, and we're going to find that God will be able to accomplish what it is that He's wanting to in our hearts. We're in it together. We're in it together. From fiber to fabric in Jesus forever. One common thread when we're knit together.